All right, what's up guys? Hope you're having an awesome day. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about the icon tools I bought about a month ago. I've now been using them over here in my shop and I'd like to do a one month review and talk a little bit on how I like them. All right guys, so keep in mind, this is just gonna be a review, you know, based on my opinions. I'm not gonna be testing these on any kind of machine like others might be doing or making videos of. This is just simply my opinion and my thoughts on this. So don't eat me up too bad in the comments. All right, let's get started. Okay, so we'll start off by talking about the ratchets that I got from them. I have most of them except for a couple of the half inch ones. They have not got those in stock yet, so I haven't been able to get those. These are uh, Husky down here, but so far I've been using this one the most, the 3 8 flex head. I do like it. It seems to work good. I also think this is the one that they have a recall on. I have not had any problems with it. I do like the 90 tooth head. It is very nice and works good in tight spots. One of my main complaints so far and still to this date is the selector on it. It's just a bit big and bulky and can get caught on things. I haven't had any issues with it so far, but I know I have caught others in the past that are bulky. The Husky ones here are a lot slimmer, and I'd love to see the Icon line go that route with those. I also like these uh, stubbies, the little quarter inch and 3 8 drive. Those are awesome. I like using those quite a bit. Use the breaker bar a couple times. I have yet to throw a cheater pipe on it and really test its strength, but maybe down the road we'll do that and see how it holds up. So all in all, I do think the ratchets are very good. I like the quality of them. They seem to be performing well. I haven't had any issues with them. Uh, who knows, time will tell, but I have been using them quite a bit here in the shop. Um, I really like the swivel heads. They're honestly my favorite. It would be neat to see them come out with uh, some ratchets that have a lock on the swivel head. Uh, that would be nice. I know this Husky one I have uh, has a detent in it. It works all right, but the ones that lock into place are a lot nicer, so you don't have to worry about them uh, moving on you when you're working on something. All right, on to the sockets. I got them all organized here on my rails and moved all the Husky stuff over to Corey's house. Um, so far, I think they're working great. Uh, one thing that I definitely still want to see them do is come out with a 12 point. I use the 12 points quite often for any fasteners that require 12 points. Um, another thing that I'm undecided on how much I like is you'll notice the uh, hex is stamped a little short here. It doesn't go very deep. Um, that is kind of nice if you're putting a nut on. You can hold it with a deep socket and still get it on the stud. But sometimes I do like to have them a little bit deeper. Uh, I haven't really seen an issue with it so far. They seem to be working fine in that aspect. Also, another thing that I really like with the sockets they offer is in the half inch drive, they go fairly big on the sizes here. That's really nice. That way you have the bigger sizes in, that you might not have without going to three quarter. So that's been pretty handy. I've used those on a couple things on my tractor and whatnot. But once again, I'd like to see them make a 12 point in those. Those come in handy. I don't really use the 12 point in the bigger sizes very often. There's not very many fasteners that are 12 point that are that size. It'll be kind of neat to see if they end up coming out with some impact sockets. I know there's not much talk about these. They haven't been out that long, but hopefully they do. I know, judging by the looks of the tools, I have a feeling they're going to come out with quite a bit more along the professional line, so that'll be cool. I have been using all my sockets on my impacts. They fit very well. I haven't had any problems with them being loose or moving around. They also fit on the ratchets really nice. They don't move around at all on there. They don't have much wiggle room either. They're pretty sturdy there. Also on the ratchets, I forgot to talk a little bit about the detents. Those are nice. They uh, click on uh, strong and hold their spot there. I do hope they come out with 12 points. That's, I could say my biggest complaint, but it's not really a complaint. It's just me kind of hoping they come out with 12 point. I use the 12 point so much, except, especially for uh, like the Toyota stuff. There's a lot of 12 point fasteners on that that I use those for, but yeah, they're nice. Also I need to, I need to come out with some swivels as well as some extensions. I'm still using my old ones here, uh, which is fine, but we'll see if they come out with all that stuff. We'll have to wait and see and go from there. All right, so that pretty much wraps up the sockets and the ratchets. I will have a link to the socket organizer trays down in the description. So if you wanna check those out, possibly get you one of them. The link will be down in the description. All right, so on to the wrenches. I also have these trays for these. I'll have a link in the description for those as well. But I got them all organized in here. Got my regular end wrenches and my ratcheting wrenches. 
Um, honestly, these things are awesome. I really like the ratcheting. Uh, they've been working really well. I like the adjuster or the selector switch here. I've been using the ratcheting a bunch. I have used these as well. One thing I will say is I'm not sure if I'm that big of a fan of the longer length on these. It does come in handy having a little bit extra leverage when you're trying to break something loose or tighten it. But I do like to have these a little bit shorter. They seem to get in the way more than anything. Uh, but they're working. They do well. So I've been using these stubbies every now and then. They work pretty good, especially if you get in any uh, tight areas. Uh, one thing it, that would be cool to have them make would be a ratcheting wrench that is just a straight wrench. It doesn't have the selector or anything. It's just straight, and you flip it back and forth which way what it, or whatever way you want to go with the direction on that. That would be cool. I'd like to see that in the stubbies as well as the full size. Also, once again, it'd be kind of neat if they made these uh, ratcheting wrenches a little bit shorter. I do prefer the shorter ones more than anything. Not a huge fan on the extra length of those. It does come in handy, but not necessarily all the time. So I got my bigger wrenches here. I've used them a couple times on my tractor. Uh, there's not really too much to say about them. I've used a lot of bigger wrenches and they're pretty much all the same. I mean, I've never broken any. All right, so that's pretty much it for the standard end wrenches. Then we got the uh, metric in here. Pretty much the same deal with that. Like to see some uh, shorter end wrenches, both in the regular and ratcheting. I do really like how they don't skip sizes. That is nice. Although some of these you might not use all the time. There's always that one bolt that might come up that you need it. And now you have it since they don't skip the sizes. So that's really nice there. Got the metric and the bigger over here. Same deal with that. Don't use those very often, but sometimes I do, and they're pretty much all the same. I mean, the feel of them is really nice. I do like the finish on them compared to some others that I've used that have more of a rougher texture. All right, so that pretty much covers it on all the tools that I have from Icon so far. We'll have to see what they come out with in the future. I know I'll probably be buying more from them. I do like the tools. They seem to be working very well. I'm happy with them. Um, as far as complaints, I don't really have any per se except for the selector switch on the ratchets um, that's pretty much my only complaint so far uh, the other stuff that I don't really care for isn't really a complaint it's just more of the style of tools that I like um, and that would be wanting the 12 point and possibly some shorter end wrenches I have a feeling they'll probably come out with something like that in the future definitely probably the 12 point we'll see on the shorter end wrenches but that'll be neat if they do. I'll probably get those. I like those a lot better. But yeah, I, mean, I think they're working good. We'll see how long they last, if these hold up for 30 years or one year. But I think they're going to do pretty good. All right, guys, so that's probably going to be it for this video. I just wanted to do a quick little update on the Icon tools, show you how I like them and talk a little bit more about them and how they've been holding up. Make sure to drop a comment down below if you have any of the Icon tools and how you like them so far, if they're holding up well or if you've had any issues with them. I'd love to hear some feedback from you guys if you got any of these. That's going to be it for this one. Make sure to smash that like button if you like the video and subscribe if you want to see more or if you like what we're doing. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.